Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. It's another Monday morning prayer, and I miss you guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. Y'all, I've been having some personal issues going on, but I promise you God has been making a way for me. And uh, so I'm going to try my best to be more consistent with the Monday morning prayers for the remaining of the year in 2020. I'm praying that I can be able to do that because I know I have not been consistent with the Monday morning prayers. I want to be straight up. I want to be real. And I hope that you accept my apology for that. But I got a special word for you today. I need you to get rid of the dead weight. Listen, um, I was talking to my mother about um, anxiety. I was having a conversation with her about fear. And I think that it's very important to remind you that God is still in the deliverance business. Um, I, I think that sometimes we forget that God can still deliver us and heal us because I feel as if we become comfortable with the anxiety we become comfortable with the fear and what I mean by that is we hold on to certain things inside of us that we deal with if it's lust if it's depression if it's homosexuality if it's uh, fear if it's uh, uh, battling different mindsets, if it's uh, not handling your finances correctly, whatever your situation is, I feel like we live with these things inside of us and we feel as if, okay, it's just I've been dealing with this for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or 30 years. This is just my normal. This is, this is just who I am. I'm here to tell you that God can still deliver you. You can get rid of the dead weight. You know, in our weaknesses, God is made strong. Jesus, God is made strong. Our Lord and Savior is made strong. I'm here to tell you who the Son sets free is free indeed. And when, like I was talking about earlier about me having a conversation with my mother, she reminded me you don't have to deal with that. You can speak life over yourself. You can say, I don't have to deal with this. This has to go out of my home. This has to get out of my mind. I, I have power. I have authority in Christ. And I don't have to live with this. And that's it. I believe this is so important to know. And I needed to remind the people of God. I needed to remind you that you do not have to live with uh, pornography. You don't have to live with the uh, anxiety, the fear, whatever your situation is. If you're beating yourself up, beating yourself up because of the divorce, or you had a divorce, or the relationship didn't work out, or you lost the job, or you had to change careers, or your car got repossessed, you can get back up, get that dead weight off of you. And that's what I'm here to tell you. And how do I go about getting that dead weight up off me? Giving it to God. I'm telling you guys, I have been so blessed in my life because I communicate with God and I'm honest with him about how I truly feel. And I think that that is so important to have a clear line of communication with God expressing yourself, Lord, I'm upset right now. Or Lord, I'm tired of dealing with these mind battles. And he's going to give you the strength and the authority and the power to overcome these situations because we are more than conquer us through Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm here to tell you. I hope that word bless you. And remember to get rid of the dead weight by clearly communicating with God on what you're dealing with. And he will give you the instructions on how to go about getting rid of it. God says that in his word, that trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your past. Remind God that you're going to direct my past. So, Lord, show me the way on how to get rid of this addiction. 
Show me the way on how to budget my money. Show me the way on how to get rid of these mind battles. Show me the way on how to treat my wife. Show me the way on how I'm supposed to govern myself with my church family. Show me the way, Father God, on how I'm supposed to govern myself on my job. Show me the way on how to treat myself. And that's what I have for you today. But before I pray, if you, this is what I want to do for my next video. Drop in the comments on what you would like for me to talk about. If there's a topic that you would like for me to discuss, drop it in the comments below. And I'm going to promise you, I'm going to decide on which one I want to do next week. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation about it. I hope that you're blessed. Remember that you're king. Remember that you're queen. And you're more than a, con more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you, Lord, for that powerful word on today. That we understand that we know through, through, that we can be able to do all things, God, through Christ who strengthens us, Father God. We're thankful and we're grateful, Father God, because this is a day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Father God. We're thankful, Lord, for life, Lord, and life more abundantly, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for peace that surpasses understanding, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for covering us from our head and down to our feet, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We're thankful and we're grateful, Lord, for increasing our finances, Father God. We thank Lord, for that you protecting our kids and watching over our kids, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that you have a great day. And remember, get rid of the dead weight. Amen.